A police car remains posted outside the apartment where Schenectady police say Tashawn Folks Taylor was discovered dead on Sunday morning. Her brother telling our sister station PIX11 that he believes Tashawn, a mom to three children, was the fatal victim of domestic abuse. My sister was open, loving. My main concern right now is the safety of the kids. The U.S. Marshals Service is now offering a $5,000 reward for information on the whereabouts of Timothy Taylor to Sean's ex-husband, who's being called a person of interest in her homicide. These court documents appear to show a past pattern of alleged abuse. They go back to October 2021, when Tashawn was granted an order of protection against Timothy Taylor after he was charged with choking her. As for her death, police are not releasing many details, only to say that Tashawn died of trauma. Police across the state not only want to talk with Timothy Taylor about the homicide here in Schenectady, but also about the killing of another woman, this time in New York City. The NYPD says Timothy Taylor is also wanted for questioning in the alleged murder of 37-year-old Teresa Gregg, a Brooklyn mom and officer with the city's Department of Homeless Services. Every woman that is out in this war right now is in danger, so we want this person captured. Stephanie McGraw is the founder and CEO of WARM. We all really matter. She knew both women. Greg through her work with the homeless population and Taylor as a family friend. If you are housing him, if you know where he is, if you have any idea where he is, don't be a part of the problem. Be a part of the solution. Turn him in. Deshaun's brother says his sister found out about Greg's murder on the day she was killed inside her home. She was nervous, scared, not feeling safe. This is this is very important. Did they, um, they catch this man? In Schenectady, Anya Tucker, News 10, ABC.